Hey everybody, welcome back to Cooking with James. I am your host, James. Today, another super simple and delicious cook for you. We are going to be doing grilled chicken legs in the Ninja Foodie Smart XL Grill. Got some seasonings for you, and trust me, this is easy, but they turn out like fried chicken. The skin is crispy, the insides are perfect. You know what, enough. Let's go ahead and get into the cook. All right guys, so this is what we got. Chicken legs, we got about nine chicken legs here and all I did is take them out of the package and did nothing else to them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna season them up. All right, um, first thing we're gonna use is going to be It's Incredible. I'll leave a link in the description below for some of this. You gotta get some of that, what goes along with it. Um, also, um, these are heavy made products. Um, this is gonna be Amazing Cajun Now. You don't have to obviously use these. You can use whatever you want. I just like those two combinations on this chicken. And we're gonna go ahead and season it up now. One thing you can do, <clears throat> like, get your chicken here is you can actually pull the skin back. And if you wanna season the meat and then season the skin, go ahead. Most of the times I do that, but we're not gonna do that today. So let's go ahead and season these up. All right, so now we have the top seasoned up. All right, now all we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna flip these over and repeat the process. So, we'll take you off camera, and then what we're gonna do, I'm gonna season the bottom of these real quick, and then we're gonna take you to the air fryer, uh, the Ninja Foodie, go ahead and get this thing preheated, and we will see you in a minute. All right, so we are at the Ninja Foodie Smart XL Grill, and what we're using today is going to be the drip pan down below and the grill grate. We are going to, for sure, get some awesome grill marks on this chicken. It's gonna look like it came off the grill. So what we're gonna do is close this up. We are going to turn it on. We are gonna pick the grill function. We are gonna turn it to max, press start, let it preheat, and we'll throw our chicken on in a minute. See you then. All right guys, so we are done preheating. As you can see, it says add food. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Woo, that is hot. About 500 degrees or so. So we have our, our chicken legs here. Now, what we're gonna wanna do um, on the chicken legs, so we seasoned the top side and then obviously the bottom side. So we're gonna put the top side down first. Now I'm gonna lay these down in a way that I like the grill marks. All right, you can lay these in, you can just fill this thing, whatever you want, however you want, but I'm gonna lay them down so I get like certain grill marks going a certain way. All right, so now what we do, go ahead and close the top. It's gonna resume. We are going to give this four minutes and then we're gonna switch it up. Don't go anywhere because this is not it. We got, there's another step to go. So. We'll see you in four minutes. All right guys, three, two, one, four minutes in. And this is just to kind of help to start the crispness. Now, what we are going to do, all right, is close it up and turn it off. All right, now this is key, because this these are going to be absolutely perfect. Now go ahead and turn it back on. Now down here, instead of grill, we are going to pick the bake function. We are going to leave it at 350 degrees, and we are gonna leave it at 25 minutes, and we are gonna hit start. Now, it's going to start acting like it's preheating, even though it's hot. This might take about a minute, maybe, for it to shut off, but I'll show you the next step. All right, guys, so what you do is, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up, and it took about a minute and a half, for it to do that little preheat run through. So you just open the lid and close it and then it'll resume right at 25 minutes. So after we switched it to bake and hit 350, it looks like it's gonna start preheating again. It takes about a minute. That says add food, just open the top and close it. And we're resuming 25 minutes. We'll see you then. Don't go anywhere. I got something for you. See you then. 
All right, guys, so we came down to the final end. Let's open this thing up and see what we got. Surprise, surprise. Oh, my goodness. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. All right, now, what you want to do, you want to get a uh, thermometer because chicken is done at 165. Now, I like to take these. Way more than 165, but because they have a tendon in them, and a, uh, I like you know like 180 to 190 is what I like. But you can do whatever you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip in here, kind of see where we're at. Oh, 182, 194. Actually, I like to take them to actually about 200 when I'm grilling, because um, it gets rid of the tendon and everything. For oh, that is just butter, absolute butter. Metal 189, 192. Look at these. Yeah. 180, that two, these are done. Let me bring you in real close and show you what's going on here, folks. Look at that. That is like, that is fried thing, chicken, but air fried, baked, whatever you want to call it. All right, so what we're gonna do now is go ahead and I'm gonna take them off and let them rest for, well, probably about 15, 20 minutes. I um, also want to see if we got any grill marks on the other side. I oh, didn't get any there. Oh, a little bit of grill marks. Oh yeah, nice and crispy. Look at, oh my gosh, the juices are dripping everywhere. These are fire. All right, I'm gonna take them off and let them uh, rest for about 15 minutes. We'll be back to test them out. See you in a minute. All right, guys, so this is what we ended up with. A whole bunch of awesome chicken. I let it sit for about 15 minutes. This plate is still a little warm. This chicken, as I know, it's still hot. Um, but just and crispy and delicious. I mean, look, look at this. Just perfectly like it's fried. Just awesome. Okay, I'm going to take a bite. I know it's hot, but... Oh my goodness. Mmm. That is so. Mmm. That is absolute perfection. Super amazing. All right, don't go anywhere. I'm going to bring you up top. Got a discount code for you. Got some stuff. You got to try this. Oh, man. Mm. All right, so we are finished with the cook, and that's how you do grilled chicken legs on the Ninja Foodie Smart XL Grill. Grab some over here and just take a look. But I know you've already seen it, but absolutely perfectly cooked. I mean, crispy, crunchy, it's like fried chicken. Make sure to check the description below um, for Heaven Made products. You got It's Incredible, it's a must, and I used the Heaven Made products. Um, the amazing Cajun, which is awesome. Those two together were phenomenal. So make sure to check that out. There's a discount code below as well. And with that being said, we'll catch you on the next cook. Thanks for watching.